and today I'm going to be showing you how I render my own diamond paintings with this software that I downloaded it's called stitch art easy it's 4.0 version um, and I will link the um, I'm going to put a link down below where you can download it. I will not be showing you how to install it. You can probably pretty much figure it out yourself if you've installed software before. Um, but uh, the link will be below where you can download it. Okay, so um, this is the software that I use to make the Leo um, Zodiac sign that I did for my sister. I showed y'all um, that and uh, the one that I... Um, doing for my mother-in-law the custom diamond paint that i'm doing and i'm going to be uh showing you how i took out these harsh black lines right here um that showed up in the uh first diamond painting that i did the custom one i did and i got from the video if you've seen it um so when um uh, when i printed it out i didn't think they were going to show but then once i started drilling the image they showed up so I didn't like that. So I had I figured out a way how to um um get rid of that. Get rid of these lines so they won't show up. Okay, so let's get started. So first you have to um let me go back to the schema. You have to go back to um the beginning. And this is what it looks like when you open up for the first time. This is what you get. I'm gonna go ahead and open this all the way up. And so what you're gonna do is you're going to go to wizard and this is where you go to choose your image. So you click on browse and I actually got a folder for images that I wanna put into a diamond painting. And I'm going to use my own image that I made years ago when they were filming and putting out Twilight movies. I'm a big Twilight fan. Um, this is the image that I did in a software that I got with my one of my, um, no, I think it came with one of my printers I had years ago. Yeah, it came with a printer. It's called ULead. I can't remember vision, ver, version it is, but it's an old version. Um, but I still use it on my other computer. Um, but I use this software. I use ULead software to make this images out of all of the, the book covers uh, of Twilight. And I've come up with this. So this is my image. Um, uh, and I have another one. Well, when I put it, if I ever show this online, I have another one that I'm watermarked or whatever. Um, but this is my image that I created myself. Um, I put all the book covers together. So what we're going to start with this is we're going to, once you choose the image that you want to use, you're going to click next. And then this is when you're going to decide what size you want it to be. Now, I chose an inch the last time and it turned out to be bigger than what I actually wanted it to be, which is not a problem. Um, but this time I'm going to try it in centimeters. So we're going to do this uh, in like uh, 40 by, no, 50 by 60 centimeters. And you'll click on that and it'll automatically change the size of it. And you want to keep this checked as the aspect ratio because if you don't, then it'll uh, distort this image it'll you know might it won't be it won't look like this so make sure you have that keep that box checked and um it shows you that's going to be five stitches per 5.5 .5 stitches per centimeter okay now if you chose it and you know if you want to see how big is in inches then it'll show you that's what size it's going to be in inches right there this is how big it's going to be once you print it out. It's going to be 19 by 19.7 inches by four and a half inches. Now, if you want it bigger, now this is where you can go up and you can make it. Let's do probably, I want it bigger than 19.7 inches. So let's go ahead and make it, uh, let's do. Hmm. Let's see. What's a good size? Let's do 25 inches. Wait a minute. Go back. Well, see, I think, I don't think you can change it. Yeah, it's not going to let you change You have to, you can only change it by clicking this right here. So, yeah, 23 inches. So I think that'd be good enough. That'd be a nice size. 
23.6. Yeah, I forgot. You can't, they won't let you put in a set number here. You can only click the up and down arrows, you know, to what size you want it. Let's do 24. That should be good. Okay, so then we're going to click next. And then it uh, is going to default to 30 colors. Now, this is where you can choose how many colors you want, more or less. And also, this is uh, using the DMC uh, colors that's going to give you. Now, you can cho go ahead and choose other uh, DMC uh, codes um, that you can use. Uh, but I'm going to stick to DMC um, because DMC, I think, is the only one that's universal to the DMC uh, codes that they use for uh, drills. So I'm going to leave it on this. Um, now, if you're using this in cross stitch, then you can change this to whatever um, brand of um, thread you're going to be using. If you're using DMC, uh, Anchor, I'm, I'm used to DMC and Anchor. I've seen those before. And I, I don't remember seeing any of the other ones. So, but yeah, we're going to keep it, keep it on this one because it is uh, equivalent to actual DMC codes that they use for diamond paintings. Your sister is calling you. Pick up the phone before Hold she Hold on, guys. She's going to call her back later. Okay, so um, back to this. This is where you can choose your number of uh, colors you want in your painting. Now... This is pretty much giving you an idea of what it's going to look like. This is the image that you're going to look, it's going to look like once you finish it. Okay. Now I can't remember how many drills I used. I think I used 20 and the, uh, the Zodiac lion that I used, And then the bigger one that I'm doing now for my mother-in-law, um, I only use 15 colors. It's turning out great. I like it, but I wish now that I have used more colors. Um, but you have to also keep in mind that the more colors you use, you're going to have to be buying these drills separately. And this is more pricier than even DAC. Um, um, if you buy drills or uh, diamond paintings from DAC, because you will be buying drills. The only thing you have to buy is the drills and ink too. I mean, you probably have to buy any of that. I, I, I refill my ink cartridges, but um, the drills can get pricey. And when I after I bought the drills for my, the one that I'm buying diamond paint, um, the one I'm doing for my mother-in-law, I think I paid like up to 50, 60 bucks for drills alone, just for drills. And it was only 15 colors. So keep that in mind. Okay. And I'm also using dots, uh, diamond dots drills. And I'm, I am, uh, well, I was in the process. I'm still in the process of actually doing it, but. I actually um, use diamond dot drills. Some drills I couldn't find in the color that I needed for diamond dots that didn't match up to the you know the the codes for DMC. I had to order those drills. Um, I went to Diamond Drills USA and I and I it was two sets of uh, drills that I had to to order because I couldn't um, find any in the color that I needed for diamond dot uh, drills. So yeah. So again. Drills can get pricey when you're rendering these diamond paintings yourself. So keep in mind on how many colors you choose because it also will tell you when you get done with this, how many drills you're going to need for each color. Okay, so moving on. So I'm going to um, take it down to see 25 colors, see what it looks like there. Okay, that's 25 colors. Again, this is what you're going to be getting once you start drilling your diamond painting what it's going to look like that's going to tell you what it looks like i'm liking that this is going to be for me i'm not going to give it to anybody else so i'm good with with this now if i was doing this for somebody else as a gift and give to them then i might do more colors but because it's just for me i'm going to use 25 colors and i might even use less let's do let's go down to 20 colors and that's still good i still like that that's good enough for me so i'm going to stick with 40 20 colors okay moving on along so then once you, once you pick what, how many colors you want to use, you know what? I don't like the way his hand looks. Let's go back up. Uh, 23? Yeah, let's do 23. I like that better. Okay. Um, now I'm going to click next. And now this is where you get to pick your symbols. Okay. 
Now, I found out that you can use whatever fonts that any fonts that you have on your computer, laptop, whatever, it's going to show up down here. So if you just want strictly letters in your font, you want the easy letters. And I mean, this comes with some, and uh, it doesn't come with all of the letters, I don't think. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I. Uh, I guess it does. Okay. Well, this is the default one that comes up with. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with this one because I want to show you a font. I mean, a symbol that does not work. If you use this, um, this particular, um, set of, uh, symbols, then I'm going to show you that some symbols do not work well. They didn't work well for me. Okay. This one right here. Wait a minute. Where'd it go? This one right here. I don't like this one because it's not centered and I, I couldn't, I, the one I'm working on now and it, I'm kind of seeing some of the black showing through. But from a distance, you can't see it. Like, they're nowhere near coming through, like these black harsh lines right here. But some of them, if you don't place it correctly, they're kind of like they show through. If you like, if you got those dummy circles on a one, like training wheels on the diamond page that you, that you buy and they come with uh, dummy circles or training wheels, as uh, Miss Coffee calls them, then they're going to show up if you don't place them correctly. Do not use this symbol if you don't want that to happen. This will show through this will come through if you do not paste that place that diamond drill correctly i don't know about these down here because i didn't use them but i know this right here that one right there that's not a good one to choose stay away from that one okay so this is the drills that it automatically picks for you now if you don't want these you can remove them and put something else over there so i don't want these symbols i don't like these symbols um but i'm going to use them Anyway, just to show you that you can go ahead and change these if you don't like them. Um, I'm going to change a few, though. Like this one, if you don't want it, just move it back over here. And you have to place it on this over here. will tell you how many drills, this is how many you need. This is how many you have to put back over there. The, how many you pick. You got 23 colors that you need to use. So this tells you how many symbols you got to pick. So I got one pick because I took it from over here. I got to put one back. So I'm going to use... I really love the um the add symbol so i'm gonna put that one over there i don't like this dot just put that back and we're going to use a i don't like this face i want to put that back and i'm going to use let's see um you don't want to use this because you already have that there see that's too close together this is a pretty good symbol i like that so let's put that one over there um, I got that one because it's like it's hard to see. Maybe not, but it may be hard to see. And then I'm going to replace it with this one. I uh, I don't like this one. I, I I just changed it because I just don't like the way it looks. This one was a good. One. I used this one in my last one. It was it it's pretty. It's a pretty good symbol. Um, let's see. I'm not feeling this one. And let's put let's put a G over there. You just pick symbols that you you know it's good for you, and again we're just going to get to a uh, uh, a part where you can preview. It's going to show up here, and you can preview. You can still change them out afterwards. Because I put that, I took that one out, and I want to put in R. Let's put R over there. Um, I don't like this one. Let's put. I like this one. That's a good one. And I also like the hashtag sign. I don't like that one. Let's put the hashtag one over there. Uh, I don't like. Let's put the capital Y. So you can just change these all out. Um, I don't like this one. And let's put in. Let's put B over there. All right. So I'm thinking those are pretty good. Again, make, make sure you got the right amount. And again, I'm going to leave a couple that I might change out later just to you know, show you that you can change them after you see what it looks like. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Okay. So now this just shows you what colors you're going to need right here. These are all the colors you're going to need. This is your, um, pretty much your, uh, your legend with your symbols and your colors and it's going to give you how many drill colors did the colors you're going to need in each drill so you know how many to buy okay so we're going to go to threads 
and no view I'm sorry I'm gonna go to view and this I'm gonna show you how to take out this grid all you gotta do is click that and it takes out that vine it takes out that so like I said if you leave that in there it's gonna show up I, I, I promise you these lines are here when you start to drill they are going to show up whether you put the drills down or not they're gonna show up so I'm, I'm taking that out okay now we're going to move over and down here you can go out and again this is going to show you what it's going to look like once it's done the more you zoom out the more it's going to show you you zoom back in and it's going to show you your symbols we're going to go zoom in a little bit more so you can see them and i'm not liking this this what is black i want to change that so you just go here and we're going to go to threads and we're going to change symbol and i want to change it because i don't i want most of the black to show i don't want that harsh line that show so let's see let's pick a different one um let's probably try using p so you click p and you click ok and it changes to p see i love it okay now move on over here the other symbols and this is again where you can look at your symbols make sure that you can see them that they're not um going to give you any problems with matching or resembling another symbol that's close to it and I can see all of these and but there's some that I don't particularly like so again I'm going to come down here I want to change this one because I don't like it and you see this one that's blank that means it's blank um it's not a problem but I want something there uh, the last one I did there was there it is see you don't see it those are blank if you if you see anything blank and it's going to be the white, um, it's going to show you you don't have one there. So we're going to click on this and we're going to change that. If I want to put something there, and we're going to try uh, R. We're going to click A, and it puts it there. You see that? And let's see. We're going to change this one because I don't like this one. I don't like it. Uh, and it might be okay. You know what? I might leave it. No, let's change it. Okay, so let's change it to number three. Put some numbers in there. There you go. And there you go. And so you can zoom in even more to see them. I mean, they're, of course, they're not going to be that big on your um, printout once you print it out and stick it together. And checking over all of it. And that is what all the symbols look like. They all look good to me. And like I said, I tend to change symbols just because I don't like the way they look like this one. Um, it, it's okay, I guess. It'll be all right. Uh, I'm going to try to zoom out. See, I can zoom out. I can still see it probably like the size of the uh, actual painting when you pin it out um, but I'm not thinking I'm feeling these O's mm, yeah I'm gonna leave them they're good that's good okay so that's that and let's see let's go back to view now I'm gonna show you something else now this right here these numbers up here I'm gonna show you the colors just the colors and Sorry, guys, my son's making noise. He's right here in my face. Okay, this right here, like I said, whatever you see on your screen, whatever you see here, if mm. this is on your screen, this is what you're going to be getting printed out. So you want to make sure that you have what you want on printed out or on your screen when you print it, okay? Now, this is one where the colors are half toned. They're not as bright. And, uh, they're muted, put it that way. Um, I like this, so I'm just going to print it out. Of course, when you put it like this, you're going to be using more ink, so again, keep that in mind. But that's that. If you want to, if you don't want to print it out, if you don't want it to show up that much, um, this is just, just going to get the color of the symbols. You're going to get a white background, but you're going to cut on some of the so It's pretty much that when you place your drills, you're going to see white through. You're not going to see any color. I don't want that. And this one is like, you know, like the ones that you get to call the mystery diamond paintings. This is what this is going to look like. I'm going to zoom out this a little bit. Uh, uh, 
so you can see it. Now you can almost kind of see it. Wait a minute, where'd it go? You can almost kind of see what it looks like, but it's still kind of a mystery. Right there. And so that's what I like if you want to make a mystery diamond painting. I mean, for somebody to shoot, I mean, because you know what it is because you're making it. <laughs> so, uh, that's what you're going to get. Sorry, guys, it's my son making noise and he's getting on my nerves. It may not bother you, but it's getting on my nerves. Okay, so that's that. But I don't want that. Again, whatever you see on your screen, when you go to print, if you leave it there, like if you go back to schema and you go to print, that's not what you're going to get. You're going to get this. You're going to be printing this out. You don't want that. Okay, so you need to go back to view. And we're going to put those colors back full. And that this is what you're going to be printing out. Okay, so again, we're going to be looking at this. Scrolling through, see what it looks like. And Twilight looks like it's going to be showing up pretty good. I don't know about down here in this G area, but you're going to see it. So I think I'm going to be liking this. So that's going to be my painting. All right. And the symbols are good. I like the colors. And then next, uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to save it here here oh and another thing if you go in here like if you go over here and you um change some symbol or something and you want to change them back just hit this and it'll, it'll take them back to whatever you um change them to but i don't want to do that i want to keep those symbols and you can also right here choose how you want your drills to show up by color or by code or by count and again this is the number of drills that you're going to need uh, in each color it'll show you how many drills you're going to need to get and let me see by symbol by color by code by count and um let me see what color hmm. i think i probably want to do mine by no, I want to do it by um by code by color. So when you do it by color, wait a minute. No, cause it go from dark to light. I wish I could do it so I could do it by code. So that um these codes would be in uh, numerical order, but it doesn't give that option. Wait a minute. Here it is. There we go. Duh. Did it just pop up? Oh, my. I just looked over that. Yeah. My code. Okay. So, yeah. So, using my code, then it'll put all of your DMC codes in that particular order, a numerical order. So, that's how I want mine. Alrighty then. So. That is that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and click save. Go back to schema. I'm going to click save here. Wait a minute. I'm going to go back to print first. I'm going to go to print. Now, this is how, um, let's see. Stitch cell. It's best to keep them on 4.5. The um, wait a minute, what was it on? I can't remember the default. I think it was 4.2. 4.5, I believe it was. Yeah, um, just keep it on the default because um, that kind of like makes the little squares where you put your drills the right size for the drills. You don't want them too big or too small. So um, whatever the default was, which I need to go back and check. 
Oh God. Mm. And um, if you leave it on that particular uh, that if you leave it on on that um, the default would have set on. Okay, let's do cancel. And then I'm gonna go back and print that again. See if we bring it up. It didn't change. It. Yeah, it's on four point oh. Okay. All right. Okay. So I hope I'm leaving on the right there. I can't remember what it was if I changed it or not. But yeah. But these are going to be printed out on five. No, I'm sorry. Eight and a half by eleven cardstock or paper rather. Now, the video that I watched, the learn the when I when I first did this. And they suggested that you use 110 pound weight cardstock. I did have some on the first one that I did, but then I ran out. And so on my second diamond paint that I'm using, I use 65 paint, 65 pound weight cardstock, and it's working perfectly fine. Um, um, after uh, this gonna be parts to this video. Uh, this is showing you how to make the actual rendering of your uh, custom diamond painting. Then there's going to be other videos on showing you how to, I mean, you know how to print it out. I'm going to show you how to put it together and then how to add the glue or the double heat of a table and all that. This going to, like I said, many parts of this. So this is, of course, part one, if you've seen the title. Um, showing you how to render it and then in the next video i'm going to show you how to actually put it together but this is what you're seeing on your screen is how many pieces of paper that you're going to need and what it's going to be printing out like this piece these around the edges uh right here this is showing you what's going to be printed on that particular piece of paper or cardstock or whatever you use okay now i've also seen when people print them out on regular printer paper and then they put them on they, they put the uh, paper on a um on a uh, on a diamond dots drill um canvas um and i've seen the only place i see you can buy that at is at the hobby lobby you can actually buy diamond dots canvases um at hobby lobby and it comes with glue it comes without glue and it comes with or without the grid okay so she used one without the, I can't remember which one she, I think she used one without the grid and had glue on it. And she cut, printed hers out on regular printer paper and then she glued it onto the canvas. I might try that next time. I don't know. I don't, I didn't see, you know, she, she didn't say how it worked out or anything. I can't remember if she said how it worked out for her or not, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to probably do it on a smaller one though. I'm going to try it on a smaller one first and see how that works. And then I'll, you know, go from there. But um, I did this. I printed mine out on 110 pound uh, weight cardstock. And I also put it on 65 pound weight cardstock. And they both work fine. Um, I'm going to show you again uh, in another video video how I strengthened that. Because, um, you know, it's going to be in pieces. Um, so, yeah. That's going to be in another step. But, um this is pretty much how you render your custom diamond painting and uh how it's going to look once you um get finished with it and print and ready to print it out so i hope this helps anybody for anybody who wants to learn how to do their own custom diamond painting um and uh, you know you don't want to you it's it, it, just like this. Again, it's going to be pricey depending on how many colors you use and yada yada whatsoever. But if you want to do something that you know that is going to be um, good quality as far as the printing of the diamonds, not the diamonds, but of the um, the canvas of the, um, the 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 symbols and codes and stuff, or the symbols rather, and you can see them with no problem then this is the way to go.
as far as the quality of the actual canvas that you're going to be putting it on, cardstock, eh, I don't know. That's, that, that's you know, it, it's your own personal purpose. To me, I have no problem with it. It works fine for me um, so far. I have no problems with it. Um, there's one step that I will be doing in securing the color on the cardstock. Once I get it printed out that I didn't do on the other ones because I learned the hard way that if it gets wet, you're gonna it's gonna run. But it didn't it still didn't pose a problem. Once I put the drills down on it, you can't even see it. I can't even remember what it was until I said turn it the over and you see it. But anyway, yeah, I digress. You'll see that in the uh, future videos of this uh diamond painting rendering series um tutorial that I'm doing for you. But yeah, so this is the first part. I uh, hope it helps you and uh And deciding if you want to try your own rendering of your um, custom diamond paintings instead of uh, paying somebody else. And another good thing about it is you don't have to wait for somebody else. You don't have to wait for them to ship it to you, especially if you, you know, um, if you're ordering from AliExpress or something like that, because it takes forever to get a custom from Mayan or from Evermoment and whatever, because, you know, it's custom. They have to print it out. And then, that part probably doesn't really take that long. It's the shipping that you got to worry about. It takes forever and a day. And yeah, I, I, I got that kind of patience no more. So, I mean, if I don't mind waiting, then I'll do that. But this is quicker. And then all you have to do is go and buy the drills. And like I said, if you want a good diamond painting and you want to make sure that it's to your liking as far as the, what the image comes out and you know it's going to come out good and you had to worry about you getting one and then the the picture quality is not good. It doesn't have enough colors. It doesn't, it's pixelated or whatever. This is the way to go. Okay, so, um, y'all stay tuned for the next videos coming after this. I'm going to try to get these out as quick as possible. Uh, so, um, I just got to get this printed out and I think I'm going to have to refill my, I know I'm going to have to refill my ink cartridges on my, on my printer because I'm out of, of ink but uh yeah so thanks guys for watching and y'all have a colorful day bye oh wait i'm oh, sorry back 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 um we're gonna save this we're going to cancel this come not print it out i'm going to click to save this and i'm just going to put it on my desktop so i know where it is and i'm going to go for the twilight I'm just going to name it Twilight. No, Twilight book covers. All right, I saved. And so now I can close this out. There it is. I'm going to show you the icon. And when you want to go back, excuse me, go back to it, just double click on it, and it's going to bring it back up. And there you go. And then you can just go to print and print it out. There you go. All right, guys. Now I'm out of here. Again, thanks for watching, and have a colorful day. Bye.